a roll on the bill. In the one episode, I found a dead body in a suitcase <laughs> on the building site. And then they come over, opened it, and then I go, oh, my God. So did you get any female interest from your parents? <laughs> no, nothing like being Brad Pitt or anything. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. How are you? You OK? Yeah. Yeah, not too bad at all, mate. What's your name, please? Rob. How would you describe your dating history? Pretty non-existent. <laughs> Where are you from? Ealing. I went out with some bird. She was a quite a posh teacher. Went out for a pizza with her. And I'll never forget, she, she was able to talk to the waitress, like, in the lingo and all that. I said, oh, my God. I can't believe you can speak French like that good. She goes, no, it's Italian, actually, isn't it? <laughs> How are you, sir? Oh, yeah, not too bad at all. Can I get you a drink? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind a pina colada, actually. Pina colada? How are you feeling about your date today? Yeah. Pretty nervous, really, to be honest with you. Seriously? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. When was the last time you were dating? Oh, my God. <laughs> dating would have been... Best part of 20 years ago, I suppose. Wow, right oh. Yeah. So it's been a while. I mean, I've been single for four years. Four years, right. Yeah, all the kids are with me and... How many kids you got? Well, I've got ten altogether. Ten? That's a lot of children. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wow. Yeah, something in so the So it all works, then. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> When you're on the day, how are you going to tell them about your kids? I wait till they've had a few drinks and, um... <laughs> oh, Christ. Honestly speaking, if I was in your shoes, I, I probably I probably wouldn't talk about the size of family or family into, you know, into, probably until about the main course, really, you know? I'd, I'd wait and try and get to know her a bit better. Like on her bloody dinner. Oh, the minute I say about having that many kids, it's like, you know, who's going to want, want to come back to an house full like the Waltons, if you know what I mean? Somebody who wants more kids, perhaps? Oh, my God. If it was a football team, I'd have had another one. So tell me, then, um, why have you come here? I don't know, it's quite a hard thing. It'd be nice to have a bit of company and someone to, you know, like, go out with. Because that's the, the adult side of it. It's the thing that I really sort of miss, if you know what I mean? I, I like someone who's um, happy, good sense of humour. Of course, you'd need one for <laughs> going with me anyway. And, um, you could have a good chat with, good laugh with, and go out and do something mad now and again, you know what I mean? Are you, are you going? Yeah, lovely, thanks, yeah. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Telling her how many kids I've got. I know. <laughs> I was like, ten? Are you, you got ten kids? Me? Yeah. Ten really? Kids. He's been very busy. He don't watch much telly. <laughs> but how can you afford it? Ten children. I know. Yeah, I, know. I, I was thinking work full time. That. And it is hard. How many jobs have you got? Hard. I'm a full time um, teacher, like, but, um, well, that's it, really. Yeah. Teaching's not. Great money, is it? It is expensive. But would you like uh, one or two more? Or three? I've never planned anything. Like, I think when I plan things... You didn't say no, then, so you're up for having more children. He's a very fertile man. It sounds like... Whatever he touches... Poof. Yeah, I know. So exactly, that's why I'm keeping me distance. <laughs> I'll have the calamari, please, mate. The calamari. What's spiritualised veg? Are they blessed? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's spiralised. Oh, spiralised! <laughs> no. So the guy on the table over there... Yes. He has ten children. I can do whatever you like. <laughs> You've got, like, one birthday a month. So you must be skint. So what's your youngest at home? Five. Wow. Yeah. So wh where's their mum, then? It's been gone four years. Oh, really? Yeah. She was playing the field for about a year before I knew it. It was all but coming you, you out. You didn't know? I didn't know, no. Yeah, it's a bit of a shocker for me, anyway, at the time. But I, I don't want to go through that sort of thing again. No. That's all. Mm. But, yeah. I've got six that live at home with me. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. The way our house works, we try and get the stuff ready the night before. Get up in the mornings, make sure they've all got their breakfast, do their teeth, you know, like, have a wash or whatever, a bit of a struggle to sort of chase them around a little bit. Did you not think of that when you were having them all? I never thought of anything when no, I was No, OK. Like... <laughs> Costs, oh, my God. Shopping, just food-wise, at least 200 a week. I normally buy... 14 to 16 litres of milk. Then their clothes is very expensive. They obviously, you know, like all the school uniforms. Then you've got your school dinners. 
transport for them. I drive like um, a transporter, so there's plenty of seats in it. It's like a nine-seater. Mm. Definitely has um, put the mockers on, you know, going out on a regular basis. No season ticket for Chelsea or anything like that, if you know what I mean. But I wouldn't have it any other way, really. Couldn't think of anything better to spend my money on than your kids, like, if you know what I mean. Do you go out with your friends? What do you do? No, I don't really. What? I don't. What about weekends? Because, um, just... weekends are taken up mainly with football on a Saturday. Yeah, I drop my daughter off to a dancing mm -hmm. thing as well. They're singing and dancing. You know, like, any of their activities, really. They go to their mum every other weekend. Right. Although it's normally spent probably at the time of catching up on all the housework. <laughs> on yeah, that I don't like housework. I like going out and having fun too much. I'm into soul. I like soul music, so I go a lot on a lot of weekenders. I'm going to one at the end of this uh, November. I like them sort of things where you can really go out and just have a crack, right? You know, on that night. Like, but it's not. It's not that often. I sort of get that opportunity really. I can't believe you've got ten kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.